I'd like to bring this meeting to order. We want to welcome everyone tonight. We have with us the chairman of the RIFA, Mr. Fred Shanks. We want to thank him, one of our high school friends. We also have Mr. Carter here from News Agency. Thank you for attending tonight. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Barber? Here. Mr. Blackstock? Present. Mr. Farmer? Here. Mr. Scares? Here. Mr. Warren? Here. Dr. Miller? Here. Mr. Davis? Present. If you will, those who will, join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. For those who can stand, we would like to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. As you join me, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would ask, are there any agenda items to be added to the agenda? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to add the following items to tonight's business meeting agenda. Adoption of revised resolution number 2019-12-04, supporting for name of North Chatham Bridge to Roy P. Bird Jr. Memorial Bridge. Under consent agenda is item 7E. Also, adoption of resolution number 2019-12-06, Resolution in support of legislation to improve the process for review of legislation with local physical impact. Under consent agenda is item 7-1. Adoption of resolution number 2019-12-07. Resolution in support of increase in sales tax to fund school capital needs. Under consent agenda item 7-M. Approval of 2020 legislative priority list under matters from the work session is item 14-A. Approval of authorization of public hearing on revisions to Pennsylvania County Code Chapter 2, Animal and Fowl, under matters from the work session is item 14B. Approval of Fire and Rescue Commission stipend under matters from the work session is item 14C. And finally, approval of Silver Creek potential note through truck restriction public hearing under matters from the work session is item 14D. Second. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Farmer, second by Mr. Barber. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That passes unanimously. Moving on to the approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Scarce, seconded by Mr. Blackstock. Do I have any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That carries unanimously. Thank you. Mr. Farmer, you've already carried out the resolutions. Now, moving on to item eight, is that correct, Councillor? Or is it? We, uh, we, we're on. We need to we approve. Have approval of the consent agenda. No, that's what we're, we're on now. Approve the consent agenda, then we'll move to resolutions and we'll present all these. The presentation will present these resolutions. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the consent agenda uh, with the added items. Second. Thank you. Second by Mr. Farmer. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. And that carries naturally. <clears throat> Moving on to presentations. Is that correct, Councilor? Yes, sir. Thank you. The Carter Resolution presentation, Mr. Blackstock. They all need to come down, all the board members. <coughs> Uh, 
we'd like to thank uh, Dennis Carter, one of our county natives, for uh, being here tonight and his commitment to our community and to sports. There's many of us that, uh, when I was young, I could stay up to 11 o'clock to watch sports. Now I, I fall asleep and wake up. See you, Dennis. <laughs> and it's not, and I can tell you, I don't see many smiling faces at 11 o'clock around my house anymore either. <laughs> We like to. Uh, we want to show our appreciation tonight by this resolution from the Board of Supervisors. <clears throat> resolution 2019-12-03, honoring Dennis Carter. Whereas at the business meeting of the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors held on Tuesday, December 17, 2019, in the General <coughs> District Courtroom of the Edwin R. Shields Courthouse Edition, the following resolution was presented and adopted. Whereas Dennis Carter has been a constant in sports sporting events throughout the area for nearly four decades and whereas Dennis Carter announced that he will sign off at ABC 13 for the final time on December the 31st 2019 and begin his retirement and whereas Dennis Carter began working at WSET in 1983 after a four-year stint at a damn radio station WBTM where he first broke into communications field uh, writing 30 second commercials and jump starting a three to four minute sportscast during evening commute. During that time, Carter also wrote part time for the Danville Restaurant B and provided occasional stories to WSET, <coughs> which did not have a Danville bureau in the late 70s and early 80s. And whereas Carter became a fixture on the Lynchburg sports scene by regularly working six days a week, plowing through 80 hour work weeks to get into as many games as possible. <coughs> All while, anchor, all while anchoring the 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. sports segments. Whereas that job took him to the 1999 NCAA Football National Championship game when Virginia Tech, Tech played <laughs> Florida State. It also took him to the NCAA Elite Eight this year where he watched Virginia men's basketball team win in thrilling fashion before claiming the NCAA national title later in April. Finally, has taken him to local stadiums for countless Friday night football games. Carter has watched high school athletes come and go, some to college and a few professional ranks. And whereas no level of competition has been more important to Carter than high school sports, and he's always found the atmosphere at high school games appealing. And whereas now, after more than 40, a more than 40 year career, Carter hopes to settle down and spend time with his family. And therefore, be it, be it hereby resolved on behalf of the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors and all the county citizenry that we express our sincere appreciation to Carter for his outstanding service and dedication to broadcasting sports throughout the county and this region and wish him the best in his retirement and be it res further resolved that a copy of this resolution be presented to Dennis Carter given unto my hand the 17th day of December 2019, Joby Davis, Chairman, Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, I would just like to say thank you for having me here tonight and thank you for this great honor. Never thought anything like this would happen to me, a shy kid coming out of Danville uh, many, many years ago, but I've been so privileged and fortunate to to work in this area in media, uh, radio for four years, television now for 36 and a half. Uh, been so fortunate to be able to, to live and, and work in this area. And now retirement is coming up quickly. Uh, I know earlier in the year it was always, okay, I'm retiring at the end of the year. And then it got to be, okay, I'm retiring at the end of the month. And now it's within two weeks, so now it's getting real. It's getting real close now, and uh, I hope I'm ready. But uh, I do know one thing, that uh, I've had a blast and had so many good times along the way. I've met so many great people in this area. I've made lifelong friends, and I just feel very fortunate to have lived and worked in this area for so long, and now we'll see what retirement holds, but again, Thank you for having me here tonight. This honor means so much to me, and I just uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. I think I speak on behalf of the entire board and the county as a whole.
we're very proud of you. Thank you. And uh, your commitment, especially to high school sports. That's my favorite. And, and yeah. meant so much to many of us, myself personally, I'm a Gretna Hawk fan. And it's been up and down over the years, but I'd stay up and try to see what that football <laughs> score was. And the one thing that I always remember about Dennis, they interviewed me earlier, but is that smile. He always had a smile on his face. And, you know, in, in today's world, sometimes it can get a little, a little dreary, especially when you watch the news. <laughs> you always had that smile on your face, and, and we appreciate what you did for us. And I appreciate that. Good. Good, good luck in retirement. Sports is always the good part of the news. You don't have to talk about murders and shootings and all that mm -hmm. stuff. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's usually generally good stuff. So that's that's what's made it so fun for me. Well, not if you're risking things. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very for much. Tonight. Appreciate that. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I think they're gonna get the media's gonna get one. Photograph, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys get tight. <coughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three. Got it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Appreciation to Mr. Tim Barber, 2019 02. Whereas at the business meeting of the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors held on Tuesday, December 17, 2019, in the General District Courtroom of Evan R. Shields Courthouse, addition, the following resolution was presented and adopted. Whereas the Honorable Tim R. Barber has served as the Tunstall District Representative on the Board of Supervisors of Pennsylvania County, Virginia for the past 16 years. And whereas Tim R. Barber was first elected to the board in 2004 for his first term ending on December the 2007. And was re-elected for a second four-year term ending on December 31st, 2011. And was re-elected for a third four-year term ending December 31st, 2015. And was re-elected for a fourth four-year term ending December 31st, 2019. And whereas Tim Arbaugh has <coughs> tirelessly given his time and effort to improve Pennsylvania County by serving on the following board subcommittees. Finance, solid waste, personal, property, and building, economic development, animal welfare facility, agricultural development board, legislative, fire and rescue policies, and procedures board, board of supervisors, school, uh, school joint liaison, Committee and the Computer Radio Telecommunications <coughs> Committee, and whereas as an appointed board representative, Tim R. Barber had also served on the following entities: Danville, Pennsylvania County Regional Industrial Facilities Authority, local elected officials, fire rescue emergency medical services advisory committee, the local emergency planning commission, and the Pennsylvania County Service Authority Board. And whereas Tim R. Barber has, by his dedication and leadership faithfully, and dutifully served the board and the citizens of Pennsylvania County, now therefore be it hereby resolved, on behalf of the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors and all the citizens of Pennsylvania County, that we express our sincerest appreciation to Tim R. Barber for his outstanding service and exemplary leadership that is making a significant figure in the county's history, and wish him all the best in his future endeavors and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be presented to Tim R. Barber, given under my hand the 17th day of December 2019, Joe Davis. And then we also have a plaque presented to Tim R. Barber in recognition of 16 years of outstanding dedication and service to the citizens of Pennsylvania County as the Board of Supervisors Tunstall District Representative, January 2004, through December 2019, Chairman 2011 and 2012, presented by the Board of Supervisors of Pennsylvania County, Virginia, December 17, 2019. Congratulations, Ed. It's hard guys to follow him. It's like following Joey Fawcett at that. Anyway, I'll keep short, but it's been an honor to serve at this level. I want to thank everybody in the county for supporting me all these years and voting for me. 
I don't have any regrets. I've met people I never thought of meeting, meet, been places I never thought I'd do. And it's been hard sometimes, but it's been a pleasure, and I've enjoyed working with everybody, and I wish everybody the best. All right, thank you. Resolution 2019-12-01, Resolution of Appreciation for Mr. Elton W. Blackstock. Whereas at the business meeting, Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors was held on Tuesday, December 17, 2019, in the General District Courtroom of the Edwin R. Shields Courthouse Edition, the following resolution was presented and adopted. Whereas the Honorable Elton W. Blackstock was elected to the Board of Supervisors of Pennsylvania County as the Stanton River District Representative and has been a member of the board for a total of six years, and whereas Elton W. Blackstock was first elected to the Board of Supervisors at the Stanton River District <coughs> and held office as such from November the 4th, 2013 to November the 4th, 2014, and was re-elected for a four-year term ending December the 31st, 2019. And whereas Elton W. Blackstock has tirelessly given his time and effort to improve Pennsylvania County by serving on the following board subcommittees, Finance, <coughs> solid waste, I'm listening. personnel, property, and building economic development, animal welfare facility, agriculture development board, fire and rescue policies and procedures board, board of supervisors, school, school joint liaison committee, and the computer radio telecommunications committee. And whereas, as an appointed representative of the board, Elton W. Blackstock also served on the following other entities. Down with Pennsylvania County Regional Industrial Facilities Authority, Stanton River Regional Industrial Facilities Authority, Fire and Rescue Emergency Medical Services, Advisory Committee, the Local Emergency Planning Commission, and the Pennsylvania County Service Authority Board. And whereas Elton W. Blackstock has, by his dedication and leadership, faithfully <coughs> and dutifully served <coughs> the board and the citizens of Pennsylvania County, now therefore be it hereby resolved on behalf of Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors and all the citizens of Pennsylvania County that we express our sincerest appreciation to Elton W. Blackstock for his outstanding service and exemplary leadership that has made him a significant figure in the county's history and wish him all the best in his future endeavors. And be it further resolved that a copy of the resolution will be presented to Elton W. Blackstock given this under my hand, 17th day of December. 2019, Joby Davis, Chairman of the Board of Supervisors. <coughs> this plaque to you, Mr. Blackstock, in recognition of six years of outstanding dedication and service to the citizens of Pennsylvania County as the Board of Supervisors, Stanton River District Representative, November 2013 through December 2019, presented by the Board of Supervisors of Pennsylvania County, December 17, 2019. Congratulations. Thank you. Say, Mr. Blackstock. I'll keep it brief. I want to say <clears throat> thank you to the citizens of Pennsylvania County for allowing me to serve you. Uh, it's been uh, an honor. Um, I retired, as, as most of everybody up here knows, in 2012, um, and Mr. Eckert died suddenly, our board chairman. And I never uh, thought that, I thought, well, I'll ease into retirement and kind of take it easy and do a little gentleman farming and some fishing. And I uh, ended up uh, throwing my name in the hat to uh, be appointed to the board at that time by the board. And uh, never realizing how much time and commitment it really takes. And until you serve uh, on one of these boards, you don't know how much time and, and effort it takes if you do what you're supposed to do. And so um, I, it's been an honor to serve the citizens of my district, the citizens of Pennsylvania County, and uh, I hope this time I'm really going to retire. Uh, my wife retired this year. We have four grandchildren, uh, two children, and we like to travel, and I'm thankful uh, that the good Lord has <coughs> blessed us with good health, except for a little cough tonight, uh, but with reasonably good health, and I'm looking forward to spending more time with my family and seeing uh, God's beautiful world. So. I've enjoyed serving with each one of you gentlemen. Uh, I harbor no ill feelings or resentment. I always felt it was my duty to represent the feelings of the, the community.
constituents that elected me. And if I upset anyone along the way, I sincerely apologize tonight, but I meant what I said. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to retirement. Thank each and every one of you. And I would add that Elton Blackstock is a Navy veteran, so we do appreciate his service to our country. So if you want to take one photograph before we go to the next one. <coughs> can you come to the middle? And yeah, just next to Elton. You want us to solve the needs? Yes, Caleb. Hey. So they one thing too. I always wondered what everybody was thinking when they come and got their retirement plaque and they say relief. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a bunch of them do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scarce. Do you want to do this? Or you no, see? sir. I've done, you're going to make me do it, right? I've done enough of his announcing tonight. Okay. Come on, Carl. Should have got him. Doing well. Carry on. I'm this honor and privilege to present yes. this to you for all the hard service. I know the uh, county staff appreciated your, your wealth of knowledge and you're going to be hard to replace. And I know they're going to miss you a whole lot as far as, as, as getting the day-to-day -day job done. By the way, this uh, flag is presented to Shirley Y. Hammett in recognition of four years of outstanding dedication and service to the citizens of Pennsylvania County as Commissioner of Revenue, January 2016 to December 2019, presented by the Board of Supervisors of Pennsylvania County, Virginia. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say, Madam <laughs> Well, I only served as Commissioner of Revenue for four years, but I gave over half my life in service to the county. 34 years started back in 1985. So I've been through a lot of changes, but we've got a long way still to go. But I appreciate everything. I appreciate the boards I've worked with and the county officials, they've been very helpful, and I hope I have contributed something to them. Thank you. from the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors expressing sincere appreciation and admiration <coughs> for your commitment and service to the county during your 12 years of service on the IDA. The board is the West Dover District Representative. That's the best for the Government Authority Board. It is citizens like you who work tirelessly for the betterment of all in our county. We wish you the best in your future endeavors and thank you again for your years of service. Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors, this is a certificate of appreciation. 
expresses its sincere appreciation and admiration for your commitment and the service to the county during your 22 years of employment. You have tirelessly given your time and effort for the betterment of the county and your hard work and dedication is not going unnoticed. You will be greatly missed and we wish you all the best on your retirement. This is size given on the 7th day of December 2019, Joby Davis as the chairman. Mr. Sides is a pilot, so I'm going to give him one statement. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Remember to always step on the bubble. Is that correct? Step on the bubble, yeah. That's Do you have anything you would like to say? Well, um, it, I guess it's amazing that time flies. Um, 22 years ago, I can remember when I was the new guy, and then all of a sudden you're the old guy. I don't know how that happened so quickly. But uh, like Shirley says, uh, all together I've done 33 years of, of government service. I always felt like in government service, you're working for the citizens and there's no higher calling than that. So I've enjoyed it. I appreciate everything you guys have done. Our next presenter is one from the city of Danville, Mr. Fred O'Shanks. Mr. Shanks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the Board of Supervisors. It's my pleasure to be here this evening for several reasons. I'm not in Danville this evening. Is there is a meeting going on there as well? But the main reason I'm here uh, is, is uh, on behalf of being the chairman of the Danville, Pennsylvania County Regional Industrial Facilities Authority. I serve currently with Bob Warren, Elton Blackstock, and Ron Scarce. Uh, before I get on, I'd like to say I'm very proud to be a member of the RIFA board. We have had many successes in the past, and we certainly have a few opportunities that could be big successes for the future. So I'm proud to have been part of that uh, board. And I just wanted to say that the state of Virginia recognizes the cooperation, the regional cooperation by the Pennsylvania County and the city of Danville in this endeavor, this regional industrial facilities authority. They actually hold us up in front of many area, other areas in the state of Virginia. So I'm proud to have been a member of the Board of Supervisors. But tonight it's about Elton Blackstock. I wanted to come and uh, on behalf of RIFA and uh, acknowledge Elton's experience, his, his, uh, acknowledge our appreciation and gratitude for all the service that Elton has provided. So uh, tonight I have a plaque for Elton, presented to Elton W. Blackstock for four years of distinguished service as a member of the board of, of the Danville, Pennsylvania Regional Industrial Facility Authority, December 17, 2019. And before I conclude, I'd like to take an opportunity uh, for another appreciation. I'll just say this, I've worked on the RIFA board for 12 years now. I've served with uh, Bob Warren and Ron Scaris. I've served with Mr. Barber, served with uh, Mr. Barksdale, Mr. Sneed, Mr. Hagerman, and Mr. Harville. It's been a pleasure working with Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors. That's uh, how long another individual has been on the staff with the RIFA board. Actually, he's been on the staff for 17 years. Greg Sides, we uh, do want to show our appreciation, but let me just say this before. 
Greg really is a public service and has been a servant. I have been dealt with Greg in private practice and professional uh, city practice, and I am just uh, couldn't say more good things about an individual than Greg Sides. He was been he's been just a wonderful asset to our community and to the River Board. Presented to Greg Sides for 17 years of service and outstanding contributions to the Danville Pennsylvania Regional Industrial Facility Authority, given this December 17, 2019, on behalf of the River Board. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before I leave, I'd just like to say uh, thank you for Tim, Mr. Barber. It's been a pleasure working with you over the years. I wish you a good retirement. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I believe that's the first time Danville's ever been down here, uh, up here in this area, isn't it? Thank you. Moving on to the hearing of the citizens. Each person addressing the board under hearing of the citizens shall be a resident or landowner of the county or the registered agent of such resident or landowner. Each person shall step up, give his or her name and district in an audible tone of voice for the record and unless further time is granted by the chairman shall limit his or her address to three minutes. No person shall be permitted to address the board more than once during hearing of the citizens. All remarks shall be addressed to the board as a body and not to any individual member thereof. Hearing of the citizens shall last for a maximum of 45 minutes. Any individual that is signed up to speak during said section who does not get the opportunity to do so because of the aforementioned time limit shall be given speaking priority at the next board meeting, absent chairman's approval. No person shall be able to speak who is not signed up. And we have Diane McMahon signed up to speak. Good evening. My name is Diane McMahon and I'm in the Westover District and I spoke with um, Chairman Davis uh, just recently about uh, a project that I'm involved with and he asked that I come and speak to you about it. So I'm here to talk to you about a project that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, just in early November I received a phone call from Joyce French who works for Dewberry in Danville. Uh, she's the grant writer that's working on the water project that's uh, the, the water being run from Eden to the mega park. And she contacted me when she heard through a mutual friend that I had had an uncle that had died in the Battle of the Bulge. And she said she was doing a veterans uh, dinner at Danville Golf Club and would I please attend and represent for the missing man ceremony. And I told her I'd be glad to do that. That uh, anything to do with veterans and especially that was very close to my heart. So she explained the project to me. She said her brother is a three-star retired general. He lives in Williamsburg now. He's originally from the Chase City area, and he's on the board down in Richmond of the Veterans Memorial. And on, he's on that board, and he, there's recently been um, a project that they're doing called um, Walk of Honor to Honor Veterans down there at the Veterans Memorial. And he said he felt like that Southside veterans should be honored. And so she had an event down in South, South Hill, another event down in Halifax, and then she had this event in Danville right after um, Veterans Day. And she's raising money in order for us to have a plaque down there to honor the Southside veterans. The total cost of the project is $100,000. She got a friend of hers, Ted Daniel, who was the former uh, manager of uh, South Boston, to help her out, and she's raised over $70,000. So now she's looking to the county to see if they will contribute, just like South Hill contributed, the town of Halifax, and Halifax County. So I'm here tonight to ask if you would you please support this worthy project. And the ceremony will be held for this event will be pro tentatively February the 29th. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. McMahon. We don't have any others. Else signed up to speak. Thank you. Moving on to item A, rezoning public hearings. Pursuant to Article 5, Division 6 of the Pennsylvania County Zoning Ordinance, 
The Board of Supervisors have been empowered to hear and decide specific zoning issues and zoning map changes in support of said ordinance. In accomplishing this important task, the Board of the board is responsible for promoting the health, safety, and general public welfare of the citizens of Pennsylvania County. The board must ensure that all of its decisions and regulations be directed to these goals and that each be consistent with the environment, comprehensive plan, and the best interests of Pennsylvania County, its citizens, and its posterity. Public hearing, rezoning case R-19-033. I open this public hearing up at 7.33. PM. Mr. Sides. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Case R-19-033, Brenda Reagan and Mark Stevens have petitioned to rezone 0 0.028 of an acre from R-1 Residential Suburban Subdivision District to A-1 Agricultural District and 0 0.062 acres from A-1 Agricultural District to R-1 Residential Suburban Subdivision District to combine with adjacent parcels that are zoned respectively A1 and R1. And if you notice in your packet, this is basically just a property swap, swap to straighten out property lines. The parcels are located on US Highway 360 in the Dan River Election District. The Planning Commission recommended by unanimous vote with no opposition that the petitioner's request be granted. Once the properties are rezoned to A1 and R1, then all uses listed under their respective sections are permitted. Staff summers and closing your board packet, and Mr. Chairman Brandy Reagan and Mark Stevens are here to represent the petition. Mr. Reagan, you have anything you'd like to say or add? Okay, thank you. And Mr. Chairman, we have no one signed up to speak, so you may close the public hearing. I close this public hearing at 7:37 p.m being familiar with it and no opposition. Do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, we approve the rezoning for case number R-19-033 <coughs> right. as presented. I have a motion by Mr. Warren. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Mr. Scarce. Do we have any further discussion? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That, pairs, that carries unanimous. Mr. Reagan, your property has been rezoned. Moving on to case R-19-034. I open this public hearing up at 7.40 p.m. Mr. Uh, Sides. Yes, Mr. Chairman, case R-19-034, John and Mona Lewis have petitioned to rezone 0 0.32 of an acre located on State Road 655, Tom Fork Road, in the Dan River Election District from B2 Business District to RC1 Residential Combined Subdivision District to allow for placement of a single-wide mobile home on the property. The Planning Commission recommended by unanimous vote with no opposition that the petitioner's request be granted. Once the property is rezoned to RC1, then all uses listed under Section 35-267 are permitted. Staff summaries and closing the board packet, and Mr. Chairman Danny Lewis is here to represent the petition. Mr. DeLewis? Yes, sir. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. And Mr. Chairman, we have no one signed up to speak to this case, so you may close the public hearing. I'll close this public hearing at 7.41 p.m. Thank you. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the rezoning of case number R-19-034 as presented by staff. Thank Second. You. I have a motion by Mr. Warren and a second by Dr. Miller. Is there any further discussion? Okay, hearing none. Let's get this second. All right, mm -hmm. please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. And the uh, motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Mr. Lewis, your property's been rezoned, sir. Thank you, sir. 
you can stay or are you at liberty to leave? Thank you. <coughs> We have no other public hearings, so you can, and we have no one finished business, and we have no new business, so you can move to uh, Section 13. Okay, so that's the appointment ratification, TLAC's election of the Lake Associate Representative. Okay, Ms. McCluster. Yes, Mr. Chairman. The TLAC appointments are for a one-year term beginning January the 1st of 2020. They recently re-elected Dave Reeves to a new term as its Lisa Lake Association representative and appointed him as its new president for the 2020 year. You do have a copy of their um, meeting minutes that are in the packet, and county staff recommends the board ratify their appointment of Mr. Reeves to serve as its Lisa Lake Association representative for a one-year term beginning on January 1st. Thank you for a good job. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to ratify TLAC's appointment of Mr. Reeves at its Leesville Lake Association representative for a one-year term beginning on January 1 of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Motion made by Mr. Farmer. Second. <clears throat> Second by Mr. Barber. Okay. We have any further discussion? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That carries unanimously. Thank you. All right. Ms. McCluster, Tri-County Lake Administrative Commission, once again appointment. Yep. We just finished that one. We're going to do matters from work session. Okay. These were the ones that were added. Well, let this one come up again on this one uh, for me. Okay. Let me reset it. All right, try now. Okay. Did it reboot? Here I am. Yet. Can y'all see the updated version? Okay. That's what I was looking for. No. I don't We're see on. it. That's what I was looking for. Okay. It's just not okay. attached. Okay. We're at 14A which is the approval of the 2020 legislative priority list that was discussed in the work session earlier. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I'd yes, like sir. to make a motion to approve the 2020 legislative priority list as presented in the work session. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barber makes I did add the section about Laurel Rustic on there, just okay. per Mr. Farmer's request. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Barber and was second by Mr. Farmer. We have any further discussion? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That passes unanimously. Yeah. Councilor, where were we at? Over I, there? We're at 14B. Yeah. That, screen? that is, yeah. It, it's uh, approval of authorization for a public <coughs> Thank you. Okay, do I have a motion by any of the board members on this? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the authorization of a public hearing for revisions to be made as presented by staff. Thank you. Second. Second by Mr. Scarce. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That carries unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Fire and Rescue Commission. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may jump in, I believe um, at the Legislative committee, the recommendation was to just refer this to a future finance committee so we can work out potential funding for the stipend or, or maybe even discuss whether or not the stipend is justified. So, the staff's recommendation <coughs> for the board to make a motion to refer this matter to a future finance committee meeting for further discussion. Okay, so that was said. We need a motion to <coughs> carry it to a future discussion. Do I have a motion for that? Is that good enough, Councilor? Okay. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Scarce makes the motion. Second. Second by Mr. Warren. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That carries. Approval of Silver Creek. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we uh, set up a public hearing uh, to make uh, Silver Creek a no through truck designated area. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Scarce, one uh, second by Mr. Farmer. Thank you. Have any further discussion by any board members? Hearing none. Please cast your vote. All votes have been cast. I will now close the vote. That carries unanimously. Thank you. Okay, board member reports. Mr. Barr. <coughs> yes, sir. Um, I guess this will be the last time I address the county from sitting in this seat, but uh, again, I just want to say that it's been an honor and a pleasure. I mean, people have asked me, how can I have any regrets? I've got 16 years, a little guy from Rawls will to be a part of what I've been a part of. And when I reflect back on the 16 years I've been over here, to me it's amazing what we've, where we've done, where we've come from, and I know a lot of good things ahead in the county. Um, some of the highlights I was thinking about, I guess the prayer issue was probably the one that I remember the most. I've never seen the county come together on an issue like that one. And I was proud to stand up for our rights as we just did with the gun thing. And as I said, a little guy from Brawlsville spoke to thousands and hundreds of thousands and then got on national TV and millions. I never thought I'd ever see that happen, but that's how God used me. And when this election come, uh, I prayed right before it. I sat on a deer stand and prayed. I said, you know, God, I know you opened this door for me. And if you want to keep it open, I'll continue to serve. If you want to shut it, shut. Anyway, it shut. So uh, when the election come out for a couple hours, you know, everybody, of course, can be like, what happened? But then the peace come on I've never had. And I realized my whole life, God's got it, my life. And since the election, I've had many opportunities presented to me. I've had some boards offered to me. And our business is up 19%. We just heard that from the county today. I mean, I've been blessed, and I know I'm not smart enough to do what I've done in life. I've been blessed by beyond my measure. But anyway, I just want everybody to know I did my very best on this board. You know, sometimes we don't always agree, but we're not supposed to. We're a board. We're supposed to come over here, as Elton said, and represent our district. But it has been an honor, and I have done the best I could do with this job, and I pray for wisdom all the time to make the right decisions. And Mr. Ingram, I offered him, if he needs any help, I'd be happy to help. And I know the pros and cons of this job. It, it's a big undertaking, and, and that's why I say it, it's a hard job. And everybody that's ever sat on the seat knows that. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for all these years support me, and I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Mr. Blackstock. Um, I just like to echo what I said earlier. Uh, it's been quite an honor to serve the citizens of Pennsylvania County in the capacity as a Stanton River representative on this board. I admire anybody that's in public service today. Um, nobody knows with the technology that's available, uh, people can reach you anytime that they get worked up through a cell phone, through social media, uh, through the old way of telephones, faxes. You're pretty much on call 24 hours a day. And uh, it's, I thought when I left uh, my position of uh, managing the multiple jails that my telephone would quit ringing. And uh, I didn't realize when I took this position that it just began to ring. But uh, it's been an honor to serve the county. Um, my mother, my mother's family, my father's family, and my wife's family have been here for generations. And so I'm, I, I hope that my children and grandchildren uh, if they choose to, would, would remain here in the county for uh, for the future. And I wanted to do a small part in making this a better county. And so I felt like I have contributed. I wish everybody good luck. Uh, Mr. Smitherman and the staff of the county, uh, you do a tremendous job. Um, the, my fellow board members, it's been an honor serving with you. We didn't always agree, uh, but 
but that's like Mr. Barber said earlier, that's part of serving on the board. I, I feel like that I spoke up for the citizens I represented and I look forward to retirement. Uh, I think Dennis Carter's left uh, a little while ago, but I've kind of been retired, semi-retired, I thought, seven years ago, but I'm really looking for, uh, forward to a full retirement. I hope Dennis don't do like I did, get involved in too much, but uh, it's a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to retirement. Uh, I wish nothing but the best for the county. Uh, you got a lot of, you got a lot of big decisions to make. And I pray that God will give you the wisdom and bless you with the knowledge to make those decisions and make this place, uh, make Pennsylvania County, which I think is a wonderful place to live in now, an even better place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blackstock. Mr. Farmer? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I thought it was refreshing to see Mr. Shanks here from the city of Danville. Um, so I made a note here earlier last week, it was announced that, you know, the city's going to lose their economic developer, Telly Tucker. Uh, I just wanted to publicly, you know, thank, um, his work. I know he doesn't directly, um, affect, but he does indirectly affect, um, the vision of this, uh, and the success of our county. I just want to thank him for all of his hard work. Um, also Ms. Hammock, um, I've enjoyed getting to, um, know her for the past two years that I've served and, uh, she's always been tough, but very fair. So I wanted to also publicly thank her. Um, last week we had a, um, a juvenile uh, that was um, escaped custody and that actually happened 200 feet from my house. And I want to publicly thank Sheriff Taylor and all of his staff, um, law enforcement staff that were there that um, made me and my family feel safe during that time while you had someone missing, or excuse me, being, um, being uh, on the run. So uh, they did a great job handling professionally and like I said, made us feel safe. Uh, Mr. Barber, Mr. Blackstock, um, I've sat next to you all for the past two years. Just wanted to say thank you for getting me up to speed and making me feel welcome. Um, it is a lot. It's a lot of information. Um, and just coming up here for the, for the uh, board meetings or, or just a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of work that's done behind the scenes. And um, both of you all uh, really made me feel uh, welcome and, and gotten up to speed quickly. I want to thank you for that. Mr. Sides, um, you, you have a wealth of knowledge and it's something that I, you know, I do not specialize in is in the zoning and how to, um, you know, tell, because most people are coming to you and they have a problem or a complaint. Very rarely do you get, you know, just a call of, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. So, um, and I know I'm always one of those guys who's calling and asking, can you help me with the situation? And you've always been there and, and I thank you for that. <coughs> I'd like to wish all the citizens and staff and my fellow board members a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Dr. Miller? Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> just a few words. Um, as has already been stated, we have had excellent workers here on the Board of Supervisors. Um, in terms of uh, Mr. Barber, in terms of Mr. Blackstock, I appreciate the friendship that um, they have shown to me on my two years here on the board. Also, um, to Mr. Sides, um, I had the opportunity to meet him years ago. His sister um, worked with me in the schools um, many years ago, and she was a lovely person as well as, as he. And so I just want to say to our um, departing people, best wishes and thank you for the good work that you have done. And also I think Mr. Ingram um, is here as he's coming onto the board. I've known him um, in other capacities um, back in the day. And uh, we look forward to good relationships and cooperation with him as we go forward. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Mr. Scarce? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I uh, first just like to thank uh, Tim and Elton. I think everyone on this board knows the commitment and sacrifices that they've made over the past uh, to Tim 16 and uh, Elton six years. And we truly appreciate that effort you gave for the county. I, I know you, both of you, your thoughts were for what was right for the county, and I appreciated that. I think Elton's going to have the better end of the stick from listening to what you, your guys' plans are. He's going to be a snowbird, and it sounds like Tim's going to work even harder. So I think Elton's got the better end of that stick. But I also want to thank uh, 
Greg for his hard work and, and the commitment to the county. If uh, he's been the mainstay for uh, the go-to guy when we've had a problem, uh, or as far as in my district, and I appreciate all all he's done for us. And of course, Shirley again. I know the staff will miss her knowledge and. I hope she's on speed dial, but uh, I, I don't think she's going to do that either, is she, David? But anyway, I appreciate uh, everyone's hard work, uh, the staff, and I uh, wish them all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and thank you for all the hard work. Thank you. I want to thank the mayor of Chatham, Virginia, for being here tonight, Mr. Fitzgerald, all of our staff, the IT department for doing a great job, Mr. Sides, Kalen, Kim, Colonel. Mr. Smith and Mr. Hunt, all the Board of Supervisors for doing a great job. J.D. Emerson, glad to see you here tonight. Mr. Angie, all of you, all of our law enforcement and even our news media. Thank you so kindly. Now, I have one thing to do. do Mr. McCluskey. Do you mind if I have a comment? <laughs> did, I, did I miss you? I <laughs> You don't mean nothing, no way. You, 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 you have had more time to Mr. Warren, thank you. I've said all I had to say. You, good day. I do apologize. Uh, and tonight when we are losing two public servants from the board that have been dedicated to serving the citizens of Pennsylvania County, I, I think we also... Uh, we passed it on the consent agenda, but I want everyone to remember that uh, Roy Bird, and what an outstanding public servant he was in many capacities. So I was really happy to see the resolution tonight for Mr. Bird, and hopefully that will carry through legislation and we'll get the bridge named after him. It's, it's very deserving. Uh, also, Telly Tucker, I've, I've called Telly and talked with him personally and wished him good luck. That, that's a, a big move for him, and he seems really excited, and I'm, I'm happy for it. I told him it was bittersweet because we were happy for him because he is a good man, uh, but we were sad for the region because he's done a lot of great work here. Uh, Mr. Sides, gosh, steady calm all the time. You know, I, if I'm going to be in a plane and we're going to have problems, I want to be with you because I know you're going to stay calm and cool. So uh, good luck in your retirement. I, I know you'll get to log a lot more miles in the air, so I know that will make you very happy. Mr. Barber, uh, you will be missed. Uh, I'm, I know on the board, you know, it's just hard. doesn't matter what anybody says. It's always hard to replace experience. Uh, so I, I thank you for 16 years of service. And whatever I think about Mr. Barber, the one thing I think about uh, first, and, and I've shared this with a lot of people over the last four years, uh, Mr. Barber always is open and willing to share his faith, uh, as was indicative by his comments tonight. And uh, I really appreciate that about you, Tim, uh, that you're out there and you don't mind anybody knowing that you're a Christian. And I, I truly appreciate that very much. Uh, Mr. Blackstock, I'm going to miss our times. Mr. Blackstock and I have probably uh, been more passionate about some issues together over the last four years. But we were always, I feel like, respectful of one another. And uh, we, we both are probably a little too similar. Uh, and that's why when we are passionate, we, we're going to say what we got to say. And I've always respected that about him. He, he wasn't a wishy-washy, and he didn't back up about it. Um, but I've also had a lot more opportunities that we agreed on projects, and we agreed on things, and we worked together on, on those projects. And Mr. Blackstock's been a, a valuable asset to this board in a lot of ways from <coughs> the financial aspect and from economic development and serving with him on RIFA has been a, a real pleasure. Uh, people sometimes hear us talk about a particular issue that we don't agree with, but if you don't agree on, but if you look back, that's such a small percentage in the real number of things that we make decisions on here. 
And uh, Mr. Mr. Blackstock has been a person, I've told him this personally, that uh, really has pushed me to be better at this the last four years because you knew that you better be prepared because he was going to be prepared when he came to meetings. And Mr. Blackstock, I hope you and Sue have a great time in retirement. <coughs> You've earned it. You deserve it. And, uh, and, and, you know, I just hope that you'll do the right things and keep Mason happy. That's the most important thing. Don't let Mason be unhappy. So with that being said, uh, you know, I look forward to the opportunity for the new folks coming on the board. Mr. Ingram's here tonight. And uh, we'll just do the best job we can. And I'm sure these two gentlemen, even though they're retiring, they'll their abilities and insight, and I know they'll be willing to share and help us uh, with their knowledge in the future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Are you good, Mr. Chairman? I mean, Mr. Warren. Yes, sir. I want to present this uh, very quickly to Ms. Kayla McCluster for the wonderful she job she does. This is coming from the board. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't have to do that. I got my truck in the Oh, I did? Oh, yeah. No, I got one. Mr. Smitherman. Do you have anything that you would like to add? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just a couple of business items. One, I uh, do want to remind our citizens that we're in the <clears throat> excuse me, process of conducting a broadband availability study and survey. Uh, if you've not already uh, participated in that, please uh, reach out um, and participate in the online survey about your <coughs> current internet availability as well as um, future needs and there will be uh, something we'll put something up on our Facebook page tomorrow as well as our website uh, to make sure that you can find a link to go participate uh, in that survey it's very important I also want to say uh, to the public that oh this is it I got the wrong book I thought I had a prop uh, we got our audit this evening I'll put it this way uh, we've got our audit back this evening for fiscal year uh, 2019, uh, and we've done well. Uh, the county is has turned a corner on its finances. We're putting money back in the bank now. We're in the black, black to uh, $1.6 million, and I want to publicly uh, state appreciation for Finance Director Kim Vanderhyde, our Board of Supervisors, and all of our employees for the dedication that everyone has shown um, marching down this road, uh, fiscal responsibility and sustainability, and we're, we're headed in the right direction. I'm very optimistic about the county's finances, not to mention our general operations. Um, it is a, you know, 2020 is going to be different for us. I, I will personally say that I'm excited about um, the new year, and I hope, I hope the board is, I hope the new board members are, and I hope our staff is. Uh, lots of opportunities going ahead, but um, it is not without um, irony that we say goodbye to three people this evening, uh, three people that I personally enjoyed working with. Um, I particularly want to say a word about Greg. Uh, we have an executive team. There are five of us, myself, Mr. Hunt, Ms. Vanderheide, uh, Colonel Hicks, and Greg. And all five of us are very unique different individuals and it's what makes our team work and Greg filled a very very important role uh, in that team Greg brought a very uh, unique is not the appropriate word uh, because I can't understate uh, Greg's intellect Greg's insight Greg's experience and Greg's ability to see things that the four of us weren't seeing when we're having a conversation about the future of this county and it's been extremely valuable. And I have begun thinking about how do we replace Greg in our group. And um, I don't know if we will. I don't know um, that we should even try. And I think, um, and we haven't talked about it as a group yet because Greg's not done, <laughs> at least till next week. Um, but, you know, we'll see where that goes. But um, his unique perspective. Um, extreme experience and great insight um, not only into local government work but also into the fabric of Pennsylvania County has uh, been extremely valuable for me 
um, in my short tenure as the county administrator, and I wish Greg all the best. Thank you. Um, and that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Looking forward to 2020. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone. Yes, sir. Counselor? I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This meeting is a little bittersweet for me. We're, we're losing three people that I've worked with for almost 10 years. And um, I'll miss Mr. Blackstock, Mr. Barber. Uh, when I think of them, I think of men of integrity, men of vision, men of passion. I'll, I'll miss Mr. Barber's frantic phone calls where he talks about 300 words per minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we always got to where we need to go. I miss Elton's phone calls and sense of humor. And Greg, <laughs> I, I will miss Greg as well. Greg hates the spotlight, so this is probably killing him. But um, over our 10 years, Greg was almost like a big brother to me. He was a sounding board. He's Mr. Steady. He's Mr. Dependable. He would help me talk through some very difficult situations. He always gave very good advice. And I, and I do believe, although the board made the tough decisions about economic development, a lot of our successes today and in the future were because of the legwork that Greg did on the ground to get us to where we need to go. We finally have the facilities where people are, want to come here, and that wouldn't have happened without Greg's leadership and hard work. He will be missed. I'll miss going to, to lunch with him, and about 90% of the time he gets catfish with ketchup. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of restaurants hurting in Pennsylvania County at this retirement. But I wish him all the best. I hope he gets to the Philippines. I hope he gets down to Florida. And I hope he flies as much as he wants to. Thank you. I declare the meeting adjourned.